Hey there, iPad gamers, iPhone gamers, and all other iOS gaming device gamers. I'm here with Prize Fighters, and it's running on an iPad Air. I'm super excited to try this. It's a punch out style boxing game. Let's look at the settings real quick. We have some basic options. We can do recording. We can change the controls to swipe or, you know, uh, virtual controls. Unfortunately, no controller option yet. This is a free game. So there are IAPs. They're minimal. You can earn coins or you can buy coins. I mean, you get 700 for a buck, which is actually quite a lot in this game. Or you can double the coins you earn by playing for two bucks, which is really quite cool. So with that said, let's check out the game itself and drop into arcade mode. This is difficulty easy, clock speed normal. You'll notice we win 25 coins for winning this fight. So you can see 700 coins is actually quite a lot for your two bucks considering you're only getting about 25 a fight. All right, here we go. I need a little sound. Here we go. All right. All right. So you'll see the green bar underneath your player. That's your stamina. And the blue bar above is your life. And you'll notice it has punch out style uh, uppercuts, basically. In the original punch out, they were uppercuts. And I think in Mike Tyson's uppercuts also. So in this game, they're kind of like big giant haymaker hooks. As you punch, you earn them. And the little glove will have a number. Watch. See, it says one on the bottom. Now we own one power punch. The thing is, if you charge it up and he hits you, you lose it. So you want to wait before you throw it off. You'll see I'm getting tired a lot. That's because my stamina is crap. And the way you upgrade that stamina is by buying it with coins that you earn from fighting. Unless you want to just kind of get a head start. Boom! And double your coins for two bucks. Or I think there was a 700 pack for a dollar or something. I'm probably going to do the the coin doubler myself. To be honest, this is a fun game. I mean, obviously, it's a punch out clone. It's very much punch out. But we live in a day where there are clones of everything. So why not be a clone of punch out? Why not? I don't know that this game is identical enough to be a problem. And I feel like if it was like a two ninety nine game, four ninety nine game, three ninety nine, maybe one ninety nine. I really don't know. I feel like if it was a couple of bucks, that that gamers would eat this up. And especially because Nintendo has bailed on Punch Out, we haven't had a new Punch Out in so many years. It's got leaderboards, it's got challenges, it's got achievements. You can uh, customize your character. This is uh, where you spend your coins. So again, I feel like if this was a game that was not free and required coins or in-app purchases, that it would sell very well. And they could probably make a large chunk of money off this game and afford to, to develop it even further and turn it into a real solid game. Let's see. You see how many coins it costs to upgrade? Oh, geez. Sorry. My bad. So let's say you want to increase our endurance one. That's 75 coins. How about our stamina? That's 75 coins. So we can't. So we can't do it. We don't have enough coins having not been a free game just a game i could have maybe purchased for a couple of bucks we wouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff we would i guess earn points by by succeeding like most games rather than really having to grind for coins which i'm guessing is going to be the case this is your character we can change his hair oops sorry his name we can change his hair make him bald we can make his color different red purple brown you name it I went super dark. He's got the stash and beard like me. Gloves. Here's the thing that gets interesting. If you want to change the different color gloves, you have to start paying. You see that right there? So you have to start paying for those different color gloves. Let's go get purple. Let's buy purple. So I have 25 left. I can change something else like, like his pants color. That's just his stripe. I don't want to change his stripe. I want to change his actual pants. What color should I make them? <laughs> purple also? Blue? What goes to it? Purple. How about that? I don't know why I just did that, but there you go. That's my new dude. So let's go ahead and have another fight for a 25er. <clears throat> normal. Oh, normal gives you 50. How about that? 
Increasing the difficulty level gives you more coins. I wonder how hard that is. Let's try normal and see. I don't think my character is leveled up enough to beat a normal fighter. I think I need to play easy a bit more. So let's deck him out. All you have is your basic body shots, your head shots, and your power shots. Again, I don't know if they're going to make a lot of money off this with IAPs, but if they could make a complete game and sell it for two, three bucks, I think it would sell well, probably better than they think. And I wouldn't be surprised, I, I, I swear, if they developed this a touch more. This is the kind of game that's, that's popular on Switch right now. Um, being a portable, it requires smaller retro style games. Not necessarily retro style, but retro style is in right now, pixel graphics and whatnot. But also smaller games that are cheap that you can collect and play for a few minutes here and there while you're on your bus or at lunch. Not you know not every game when you're on the go is is appropriate. For example, Breath of the Wild is not the best game to play when you have ten minutes. But a game like this, ooh, that might be surprised how many copies they could sell for two or three bucks pop, and then bring in some better better uh, talent to help them turn this into an even better game. See, my stamina is pathetic. That's why I can't punch. There you go. Let's sock him again. My stamina is bad. I need to earn more coins and upgrade my stamina. Because I'm just getting whipped here. Oh, I forgot I'm playing a harder level. I need to be careful. But anyway, for a free game uh, where you can decide if you like it and then spend a dollar. Yeah, I think the I think the doubler was two bucks and the 700 coins was like one buck. To decide you like it and spend two or three bucks to really unlock its potential, that's not bad. Basically, you can consider this a demo, a limited demo, and the game itself costs a dollar because 700 coins would give you the ability to really power your guy up enough to easily work on the career mode and whatnot where you're actually going to continue earning coins as well. So I think the pricing is actually pretty good. It's just that there's a stigma to in-app purchases and free games that really turns people off. I don't know really why that is. I, mean, I do know why that is. Oh, I do know why that is. And it's because a lot of free games are not developed to be fun or be real games. They're developed to addict you and to constantly present obstacles that require a timer or a, or a monetization like some kind of coin or gem. And it ruins the game. But in this case... It's really not really the situation because most fighting games work in a way when there's a career mode that you start weak and you earn points that you can assign. Nice counter punch that you can assign to your fighter. And as you assign those points, your fighter gets better. And that's exactly what's kind of happening with those coins. They're pretty much the points. It's just a matter of how much is it going to require. You know, how many of those points is it going to require? And I, I think it's going to be a lot. So you spend the dollar or the two dollars to double your coins, get 700 coins, and go ahead and power up your guy a little easier while still earning coins, mind you. So that's that. There is career mode. I've been babbling a little bit here. Let's go ahead and check out career mode while we're while we're on this game. This is career. We are ranked number 30th. We don't have a title. That's our record, which is kaput. Our prize money is nothing. And let's schedule our next opponent. Oh, we can pick. Iron Randall gets us 30 coins. Juan Pacquiad <laughs> gets us 20. He's got zero wins. Wow, he must suck. Let's fight him for a prize money of 20 coins. Juan Pacquiad. Okay, that stuff would have to go too, I think. They should just come up with their own creative names, although it is hilarious. And they'd really have to make sure these fighters have different types of punches and different types of combinations and different types of patterns. It can't just be, you know, just all these four punches. It'll get old in a hurry. But as it is, I'm having a ball just punching these guys. I love the big hooks. They also need some more knockdown animations. Maybe some more character customizations. They could really have a lot of fun with that. And controller support. I don't know why more people don't use controllers for iOS because they, they do exist. But people just don't tend to, to educate themselves well enough. Same with the Wii and the Wii U having pro controllers. People are just like, I don't like the motion controls. Well, you know, there is a pro controller. 
You know, you can use that. There's a regular Pro controller. It looks like an Xbox controller-ish. Works great, but no. That takes too much research and education. So even though they make an unbelievable Bluetooth Nimbus controller for uh, iOS games, a lot of people don't realize they can they can use it. This game, for some reason, doesn't support it. I really, really, really wish it would. So I've got 70 coins now. We can go and look at our fighter. Oh, I don't want to look at my stats. Oh, that was my career. Check it out. Watch this. Everything. I'm talking statistics here. How many crosses? How many hooks? How many uppercuts? How many jabs? How many body shots? Pretty neat. Go to the gym. No, it's not there. Here it is. Ratings. Okay. Strength, speed, stamina, endurance. I think... Stamina... No. 75. I only have 70. Endurance. Decreases maximum health decline by 10%. No. So everything's costing 75 now. I need to earn more. But we can go to the shop again and double our coin intake for 2 bucks, Or grab 700 right off the bat for 1 buck. That's pretty neat. And there's a mystery box, which I would love to do, but probably shouldn't do it on camera. Let's check it out. Let's hit the mystery box right now. What I'm going to do is just push this aside and touch... And, uh... Touch the mystery box, all right? That's what's going to happen right now. I've done it. I've touched the mystery box. It's showing me some crappy game where you match three or something along those lines. Looks really stupid. wonder how long I have to watch this video. Probably like, was it one of those 30-second commercials or something? What was it called? I don't remember. I'm not going to give you the name because that's crap. Let's turn it back on. What did I get? Ready? Here comes my mystery box. Oh, I got, wow, I got 48 coins. That's decent. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and upgrade our chin, our speed, our strength, uh, stamina. Decrease stamina used per punch by 5%. Yeah, that's huge. Boom. I did it. I did it. Let's have one more career fight while we're here, shall we? You just won the fight. Here's an interesting thing. It's not necessarily clear how to move along. Oh, here we go. I so need a screenshot of that. Okay, got it. And then I accidentally turned off my my machine. Oh, don't flag me for inappropriate content there, will you? Oh, there's a save button. Are you kidding? Saved. Again, another nice feature of this app. You can actually save these awesome screenshots. That is really cool. Next opponent is offering me number 28. But look, I can change it and fight Slick Tony instead. So let's go ahead and try to fight Slick Tony. Slick Tony, because we're going to get more money. I'm one and one. How about that, huh? No, just one period, I should say. With one KO. Well, this guy's 11 wins with 10 KOs. 28 losses, one draw. His cut's better, his chin's better, his endurance is less, his stamina is less, his speed is greater, strength is the same. We're pretty evenly matched up. So let's go ahead and take on Iron Tony right here. My stamina is holding up a touch better. I do see that. I mean, 5% isn't much, but considering how many punches you throw in this game, 5% less each punch, that makes quite a difference. Oh, I missed my big shot. That makes me so sad. I love how when he whiffs, he's kind of huffing for a moment. And you can counter him big. That's very punch out like. See it? And that's even after you hit him with a big one, you can kind of continue. If your stamina. Oh, he threw a little three hit combo. He did. I blocked that. Body blows. I have a big power punch. Let's wait for something we can dodge. Crack him. Oof. Sorry, dude, my stamina. I know you're waiting for me to counter punch you. I've got a big one. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes. Purple punch! Oh, I missed. That makes me sad. We're doing good. We just have to not let him catch up because all of a sudden that's happening. Probably because I'm playing like Rocky. I'm blocking with my face. I have it on TV in front of me so I can kind of look up at you guys a little more. So my bad for forgetting about that. Probably because I'm afraid I can't. I'll miss the screen. I'll miss where I have to touch. <gasps> He's down. 
Oh, he's up. Don't get up. He's all purple. He's bleeding from the mouth. He is a mess. Big punch coming up. Did I miss it? I did. See, that was a body shot knockdown. I'd love to see a different animation for the body shot knockdown. Oh, he's up again. TKO. <laughs> New skills available. Like what? Oh, check it out. Plus more coins or plus more something else. I don't know what that means. Let's do this something else. Gym rat. Earn 20% more XP per fight. Coins. Earn 10% more coins per fight. Wow. So I'm going to do that. Did it work? It's equipped. I've got it. Very, very, very cool. And I've got the 83 coins, which I don't know if I can use. You'll notice each upgrade starts to cost a little bit more. Now it's 100. And it's not like, say you've upgraded endurance three times. The next endurance costs more. They all cost more. And that's where the mobile part comes into play. It's designed to take your coins. But it's pretty generous with them. The shop is more than fair. And I've got two more minutes. It's going to give me a new mystery box where I can watch a commercial. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and just stop playing. There's my play with Greg Bill's momentum to win. Please stop. There you go. Saved. But a boom, there's my next opponent. So that's it. That's a quick look at prize fighters for iOS. It's a huge winner. I might drop this into games you didn't know were awesome on my Play With Greg YouTube channel playlist. And highly recommend you give it a try if you enjoy boxing games, arcade style games, or punch out even a little bit. It's not, you know, going to be the next game of the year, Zelda Breath of the Wild. But this is the perfect kind of game to whip out on your phone or iPad when you have five or ten minutes to kill and have a, have a couple of minutes of fun in a video game. This is absolutely the kind of game that belongs on portable devices like phones and iPads. I'd even play something like this on 3DS or Switch if they developed it just a little bit further. But for zero dollars, uh, it's really hard to complain. I give it a must play, so I'm color me surprised. I'll go ahead and try some more boxing games as well. Be sure to check out for them on my list. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun with that because most of them are going to suck. But this one goes in the doesn't suck pile. Bye.